What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Sony could potentially be raising the price of the PlayStation 5, which would be quite the kick in the nuts to anybody who's been waiting to get one of these at retail and refusing to pay scalper prices. Sony had announced during their conference call on Friday that they may need to look into certain things and that they're not sure and not ready to announce anything quite yet regarding a price increase on the PlayStation 5. However, those of you who have been living on planet Earth have probably noticed the pandemic, the chip shortage, inflation, uh, chip prices are expected to increase between somewhere like 10 to 15 percent in the next calendar year alone. So the margins are not increasing they're decreasing and combine that with the fact that playstation 5 is not making sony as much money as the ps4 did we got some problems Smash! first time on the channel subscribe bell for notifications hit the like button all that fun stuff i appreciate you guys i genuinely do so sony potentially raising the price of the playstation 5 what do i think about it it makes sense it kind of does. And and the reason why I'm on the side of raising the price for it was I honestly felt $500 when it released was too cheap. Especially if you consider the technology that was being packed into it. I think they were going for the angle of razor thin margins competing head to head with Microsoft and focusing so much on just making sure that their product had a chance to be successful. But now we're at the point where the product's out, the games are coming out for it, and people still are demanding this thing to the point of paying more than retail for well over a year after release, and they still can't find it on store shelves. So the only way to combat that is to raise the price of it. Now, I know there's going to be a ton of people in the comments that are like, oh, no, no, you can't do that, you can't do that because... XYZ, they set it at this price and it should stay that price and, and go down because that's how technology works. That's how sales works. That's how marketing works. That's how everything works in a capitalistic society. Under normal circumstances, yes, I'd agree with you. Problem is we are far from normal. Look at car prices. For example, um, the car, one of the cars we had, we had three cars. We had an old Mustang from 2004 with like 130,000 miles on it and in good shape it would be worth under normal circumstances like 2200 bucks 2400 bucks and I was talking to my wife about it a few years ago and we're like why would we sell it it's paid off it works there's no issues with it it's nice to have a convertible in Southern California so let's just hang on to it whatever then the pandemic happened and all of a sudden that same car went from being worth like 2,200 bucks in perfect shape, which by the way, it wasn't. It had dings and dents and scrapes all over it. It's 2005, it's, it definitely looked its age. And I sold it during the pandemic for almost $6,000. Think about that for a second. A car that no way, no how had any business being worth that was worth that because of the demand of used cars went skyrocketing through the roof. So the reason why I bring that up is back to the technology debate and, and the value that you get out of the PlayStation 5. Is it worth it to you? For me, no, I've had it, I've made videos, like it's still not worth it to me, but I got it day one and I was excited to have it just to keep up with the Joneses and be able to have it uh, and, 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 and test out new technology during the pandemic it was it was cool it was awesome okay five hundred dollars plus tax okay it was worth it to me because i was getting it day one now fast forward to this point is it worth five hundred dollars to me not really i mean to be honest but i assume with my history of gaming as my backdrop that eventually a game will come out that i'll want on it that i'm glad that i have the playstation 5 so that all I need to do is go out and get the game instead of dealing with buying a console, setting it up, logging in, putting all the information into it, then getting the game, downloading the game, then being able to play. I just I just want to have it ready 
for when a game comes out because, hell, I already have it. If I didn't already have the PlayStation 5, knowing what I know now, no, I wouldn't be in a rush to go get it. But I think there's a lot of people that have FOMO after waiting so long to get it that they're just chomping at the bit to, to be able to get their hands on the PlayStation 5. So that's why the demand, in my opinion, is still there. And it's not necessarily a killer app game that you have to get the PS5 for right now. Yes, there's fun games, Ratchet and Clank, cool, okay. Not a killer app, not a system seller to me. Uh, the Spider-Man Miles Morales, again, a very good game, but also available on PS4. So, And the PS4 Pro, which the differences are negligible, they really are. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm <laughs> going off on a tangent. Long story short, though, PS5, to me, is currently not worth the, the $500. The reason why I bring that up is... It doesn't matter what I think it's worth to me because the general public out there is willing to pay more than what the retail price is and has been for a very long time because, as I said earlier, the buildup in, in excitement and, and, and people just wanting to get be a part of the next generation of gaming. Gotcha. Pair that with the chip shortage and, and the consoles not being made in the amounts that they were previously back when the PS4 was coming out. It, it's limited the supply. The demand has only increased. Ergo, no one can get one of these things unless they are very fortunate or follow Jake Randall because he'll hook you up. Uh, it's very challenging to get a PlayStation 5 even now. Like we're getting close to what, two years after release? It's, it's getting crazy. Sony has not stated that they will be raising the price, but Sony has raised the price of electronics previously. So they have a track record of doing that with, what was it, Blu-ray players, uh, headphones, uh, stuff like that. They've, they've raised the prices in the past if they felt like the demand was there and it, it was justified. So it wouldn't be like a groundbreaking first time for them to ever do that type situation. Then you get the news that Meta announced that they're increasing the price of uh, the Oculus $100. I mean, the chip shortage is real. The the dilemma of the supply chain issues, the everything is, is, is now starting to actually impact day-to-day -day life. So regarding the PlayStation 5 Sony potential price increase, Unfortunately, I do think it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. They're missing out on free money from people by having it at $500 currently, USD. Um, I'm sure other countries, Canada, especially paying through the nose like they always do. God only knows what Brazil's like right now. All these other countries paying for it. But point being, it's a supply demand issue right now. And if they can only produce a certain amount of consoles, and those consoles are, let's be honest, guaranteed to sell no matter what the price is, as long as it's somewhere in the realm of affordability right now, it will sell. So it, it, to me, it's kind of silly to be leaving money on the table when you could be getting it. And yes, it's easy to say that from my position where I have a PlayStation 5, so I don't care if they raise the price. I, I, I think it sucks for the people that have been patiently waiting and not paying scalper prices and just wanting to get one of these at retail and willing to wait as long as it takes and under the full assumption based off of our prior history of living on this planet that the price will come down not go up if we wait longer i get it it sucks but at the same time it's business and they're in the business to make money they're not in the business to be a charity and if they have the ability and the potential to make way more money by charging an extra hundred bucks or hell, 150 more, I don't know. I say go for it. And I know that's gonna, like I said, I know that's gonna piss a lot of people off, but I, I don't understand why they're selling it for $500 during crazy inflation, crazy demand, and there's people willing to spend more on it if they can just find it away from a scalper. The, the concern I'm sure other people are going to have now is if Sony raises the price of it, that means scalpers are going to be able to raise the price of it. And and it's a slippery slope and domino effect and yada, 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 all that. But I, I get that. But at the same time, 
it's going to limit the audience of demand further. So less people are going to overall try to buy it, meaning it will eventually calm the, the buying and, and selling via the, the second hand market with all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it's such an upside down world with investments and, and, and pandemics and the value of what anything is. Who only knows what the hell's actually going to happen? I guess I just wanted to make this video to, to get this out there. Uh, shout out to Video Games Chronicle for for publishing the article and translating the, the call from Sony. Uh, really good information in that article. I'll link it in the description of this video as well. Be interested to hear what you guys have to say about Sony potentially increasing the price of the PlayStation 5. And not from uh, so much your perspective of, of, oh, that sucks for me, but more of, do you understand it or do you do you disagree with it fundamentally for for other reasons just i want to have a conversation hear where you guys stand on this i'm interested to hear about it i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for watching and as always you stay smashing all right austin the raft has been duct taped together now give me your thoughts will it work will it float yes come on let's go you think it will All right, just jump on it. Just jump on it. You're gonna fall through if you do it like that. Oh my gosh, it actually works. Kind of. Is it holding you? Dude, look at me. That's awesome.